All right, all you listeners of the madness out there tonight, welcome back to Wonder the Radar. And one thing we forgot to mention, folks, for this week, we unfortunately have to go by alternative means for our computer due to a couple of technical difficulties. And also, according to the maestro, we also forgot to mention the fact that during that little back lot brawl between the Viking Raiders and the Street Prophets to cheer me up, Eric was able to do a tiger knee to the face of one Montez Ford during that match. Ah, thank you for reminding me, and it did cheer me up a little bit. But besides trying to cheer me up due to technical issues with computers, folks, I think it's time for us to get out our left-handed scissors and get prepared to cut some very interesting newspaper clippings for another edition of Yesterday's News. And hopefully we can cut out the silver lining on those stories, too. And in our first news story, and speaking of trying to get a silver lining out of it, for you Matrix fans out there, unfortunately it's been announced as of this week that the production on the Matrix 4 has been delayed until April Fool's Day of 2022. Ouch! Ouch! And it would not be the only movie delayed during this said pandemic, folks, because it's also been announced that alongside with this film, the movie Kong vs. Godzilla has been released to May 21st of 2021, and you would even see Wonder Woman 1984 getting an October 2nd release in 2020, being probably one of the only Warner Brothers films that are set to release this year, to our knowledge. And if you guys want to go ahead and check out the complete list of movies that has been pushed back due to this virus from Warner Brothers Studios, you can go ahead and check it out on the Consequences of Sound.net page, only known as Consequences of Sound.net, then check it out for yourself. And speaking of other things that's been pushed back due to COVID-19, folks, it's been announced as of this week that the Oscars have been pushed back two months, and not only that, but also added a new rule to the world of the Oscars. But first, that pushback date, because it's been announced that instead of February 28th of 2021, it's being moved to April 25th of 2021 for the Oscars for next year. And to make things even better, folks, they've also announced that they're extending the eligibility period for these said nominated films by two months. And also would even add on to the fact that digital films are eligible to be viewed for these said films, too, as a form of qualification, according to the maestro. And I, for one, am extremely excited how in the world the Oscars is going to play out for next year, seeing the fact that they're delayed, but yet the Indie Awards that we do will still be taking place, I do believe, after Valentine's Day of next year. Huh. So, I got a feeling with the fact that we don't have to compete with the Oscars, numbers may be going up. <laughs> but besides my silliness, folks, this would be the fourth time in history that the Oscars will be pushed back, not only including the flood in Los Angeles, but also due to the Dr. Martin Luther King assassination, along with the attempted assassination of Ronald Reagan back in the 1980s. And yeah, like I said before, with COVID-19 still running amok and rumors running rampant that there will be a second wave to take place in September, it's a smart move for them to move the awards back. And with that said, folks, if any of you guys and gals out there want to check out any of the future nominees that will be taking place in the Oscars for next year, you can go ahead and head on over to the website only known as Oscars.com to check it out for yourself. That is if the website is still up for next year's Oscars. Could be wrong. And in 
in other news, and in news straight from Grand Theft Auto Online. For you Arena War fans out there looking to get a little bit of extra pay for your carnage, I have some good news for you. Because as of last week, you will be able to get triple rewards for your performances in the Arena Wars Arena. And to make things even better folks, they've also announced that they're giving 50% discounts off on the Arena Workshop, 40% on the Arena Garages, and 40% off on all of the vehicle upgrades for all of your Arena War vehicles. Just not half bad. And oh, before I forget, and thank you for reminding me, Maestro, for you lucky wheel spinners out there for this week all the way until June 17th, you can get the car known as the Pegasi Torero, which is a classic version of the Lamborghini that may or may not have been featured during the classic game of Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And from the looks of it spinning on the wheel, I do believe that's the same vehicle that Lance Vance drove in the first couple of scenes and missions during the game of Grand Theft Auto Vice City. But for those who think it may be different, you can go ahead and check it out on the big wheel in Grand Theft Auto Online. And if you guys and gals out there want to go ahead and check out any other cool discounts or events that they got coming up in the near future in the world of Grand Theft Auto and beyond, you can head on over to the Rockstar Games Newswire page, only known as rockstargames.com under the Newswire section to check it out for yourself. And I guess with that said, folks, wraps it up for this week's edition of Yesterday's News. And I guess with that said, we might as well head back to the music, and when we return, we'll be back with more Under the Radar Madness than you can shake a cobalt badge at right after this. So don't get lost in the madness just yet, folks, and stay tuned. 